Hi, hello, how are you, Amanda, sane artist? I'm gonna do a tip Tuesday video about setting spray and eyeshadows. It's gonna be at the end, but it's good. <laughs> so I thought I would do an eyeshadow tutorial, but then I thought I would dip in to Salem, which is a black. So if you're on the website, Salem looks gray. It looks a lot like coal. It's black, trust me. If you ever wanna see a true tone of an eyeshadow, message me. I'll swatch the crap out of whatever you want as far as eyeshadows go. <laughs> and you can see what the true tone, I do it for a lot of customers. I'll get a full list of like six to eight colors people wanna see swatched. I swatch them, I label them, I send them off. I actually really enjoy doing it. It gives me ideas for colors to go together because people are building their own custom palettes, which is so cool. All right, so let's do my eyeshadow. I've already prepped my lids with my brightening highlight and then I set it with vanilla dust. I'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow brush today and I'm gonna start, so here are the colors. I have Drift, Butterscotch, Coal, and Angel's Landing. And then I'm gonna line with Salem. We have a cream eyeliner and it's called Black Friday but I don't recommend it. It's a cream, it does not set, so it will move, it will transfer, it will crease if you use it as an eyeshadow. So I don't always recommend it. I've set it with powder and it still creases. Just use Salem and just use setting powder if that's what you wanna do. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to go into Drift first. I like putting Drift right up here on the top of my brow bone, just under my brow. It just gives it a little bit of, a little bit of shine, it, adding a shimmer can also make them look a little more raised. And, and heck, you know what? Drift is pretty. So that's another reason why I put it on. So I'm gonna put Drift on right here. Next color I'm gonna go into is Butterscotch. And this is gonna be my transition color. I'm gonna put some on, tap it off, and I'm gonna pop this right up here on top of that brow bone, just as a little peekaboo color. This is gonna take my cool toned coal and give it some warmth. I like mixing, I always want a cool tone on my eyelids. I don't like doing all warm tones, but I will always, with my cool tones, put it with a warm tone. And butterscotch, it's, it's really pretty. <laughs> Which is why I put any color on, it's pretty. I actually tried a new lip color today and I tried a new blush color today. It's out of the limited edition releases that went on sale on the 26th. And if you got an advent calendar, some of them were in there. I got all six of them and I will list them off. There's Love Spell, Bear, Lolly, Sunshine State, Bear, and Ever Red. And I put Ever Red on as my blush and I have Bear on as my lip color. And it's so pretty. Bear was quite bare, not gonna lie. So I did put a little bit of liner on using the contour color Indigo. I like it. All right, so I have put my transition color on. La di da. And now I'm going to go into coal. And I'm going to spounce just right on the top of that. Tap some off. I'm going to pop it right out here. I'm not going to go super crazy dark, but I am going to just focus this right out here on the outside. And then I'll push in because I don't want it harsh in my crease. I just want a hint of it. But I like having it just right out here. I have somewhat hooded eyes, not heavily hooded eyes, but when I'm resting my face, as my daughter says, are you resting your face? Yes. I will lose a lot of my crease color in the fact that this part comes so close to my lash line. So I like to keep my eyes open and then I focus it out here and I'll push onto that brow bone. And that's how I like to show it. So tapping that off, opening my eyes and I pop it right onto that outer corner. And then I will try to close one eye. I can do it with this eye. I tell you what, not over here. And so I'm just circling this and then I'm gonna push in a little bit, just like that. It's pretty. I think I went a little, nope, I didn't. But I do need to care. I'm gonna put a little bit on the edge, tap it off. I'm just gonna pop it right up here. I tend to dip it down, boop, like that. And I don't want to. All right, so just pushing that in, I'm gonna go on the small end here, put a little bit of that coal on, not much, and I am going to go right down here, and I'm just gonna make a nice, smoky under eye. I just like to keep it the width of my lashes, so however the length of my lower lashes are is where I like to keep 
this in almost like a contour, like my lashes are creating a shadow. Like, oh. all right, there we go. I'm just gonna make sure it's all like lifted together. I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna go into Angel's Landing, this pretty shimmer. I'm gonna rub this in and I'm gonna put this right here. I'm not being really tidy with it. And I flick up at the front right here just to bring it up because again, at that hooded eye, I like that it's always a little bit seen. Like, oh, what does she got going on in there? And so I pull it up like that. I'm gonna take this fluffy end and I'm just gonna dust off the excess like that, really light. Cause I don't want it to be crazy shimmer. If you want your shimmer to really be pigmented and really shine, take some highlight color, dab it on and top it with whatever shimmer you use. I'm not gonna show you right now because I don't need to be all extra. Do I? No. All right, so let's talk about my tip Tuesday, which is using setting spray with your eyeshadow. I'm gonna make a powder eyeshadow aligner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on my finger. So this is the multitasker brush. I really love this brush because it's so multifaceted, hence multitasker. I'm gonna put the point, small pointy end on my finger. I'm gonna take my setting spray and I'm just gonna give it a little squirt. And then I'm just gonna wet it on both sides so my brush is good and wet, okay? And when I pick up a powder shadow, I'm just gonna very, Salem is pigmented. Like it doesn't go on like a light. Like sometimes when you get into a black, you'll put it on, you'll say, okay, where is it? It's gray. This is black and it's pigmented and it goes on really well. So I'm just pushing this on either side and I'm tapping. So if any loose powder was on the end, it's now off and there will not be fallout using setting spray on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go about a quarter of the way in and I'm going to draw eyeliner with this pointy pointy end of my multitasker brush. And because it's wet, it's holding all that powder and it's making this really pretty black liner and it will stay. This will not run. This will not fade like normal powders. It's so Good, I'm gonna put a little more on, just tapping the tips of the bristles. And I'm just drawing on a little wing. And I feel like you get so much more control. Okay, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it on the flat end, like that, tap it. I'm gonna push onto my waterline here. Just like that, and I have waterlined my eye. I don't have super sensitive eyes. So take that with, with what you want. If you have very sensitive eyes, maybe don't try that. Just fair warning, but just do the top part of your lid. I'm gonna take what's left and I am just gonna sweep this on the inner edge of the eye to meet the lash line. You can barely see it, but it's there along with that. Come on, come on, come on fuzzy. Okay, so I've put it on and what this will do when I put my mascara on, which I'll just go ahead and do on one eye now, it's gonna give the illusion that the eyeliner goes all the way across without closing your eye because I don't have anything pushing it down with darkness right here. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of mascara, wiggle it at the root and pull. And what that does, it's so nice. It just gives the illusion that your eyeliner goes all the way across, but it's keeping your eyes nice and big and open. So I'm just flicking this on the tips of the lashes. I tell you, I'm, I have a hard time sitting still and making the commitment for lash extensions, but I'm missing having lashes. Oh, I'm gonna take what's left here and I'm just gonna sweep this along my lash line on this outer quarter right there and let it meet up just like that. It won't move all day, I promise. I've been doing this all week because I ran out, I didn't run out of my eyeliner, but I was low enough that I wasn't comfortable sticking it in my eye. And I've been doing this for a week and I've been, look at how much it just, 
makes the eyes pop. I love using this Black Friday. I don't need to respray it. And I'm just gonna tap this on either side, tap off the excess. And again, a quarter of the way in, I'm just gonna draw on my liner. And it's so good. Get that wing built out, bringing it in, adding a little more tap. And I'm just getting it on the tip. I'm not filling the whole brush. I would rather keep adding than add too much because it's a lot easier to add more than it is to take more away. I'm just bringing that a quarter of the way in and making this really pretty wing. And then I'm gonna add it flatly on the brush, tap, and I'm gonna do that waterline. And I only do the waterline over on this outer corner with this cat eye. And I'm gonna knead it. I'm gonna get that inner corner on the lid. Now this part tickles. I don't know why I'm ticklish here, but I am. Okay, and then whatever's left on the brush, I'm just gonna bring it along the lash line here. And it's so easily controlled. I love it. All right, look at that. Isn't that nice? It is. All right, so now I'm just wiggling at the root and pulling. I wiggle at the root to get the, bris the lashes into the bristles because I like my lashes fuller at the root. So that's why I do it that way. You can wiggle it at the tip and really get them in and really coat them if you want. If you want a good coating on your lashes, wiggle them into the brush. Get down here. All right, that's it. That's the eye look. I just thought it would be nice and simple and easy, but I really wanted to show how using your setting spray on a small brush with your eyeshadow can make a really, it makes the colors bolder. Now you could do that with any of your colors. If you're wanting a, a color to be bolder, put setting spray on your brush because you can take a color like, let's grab a color like As If, okay? As If is a nice purple color. Okay, everybody's so scared of this color. It's one of my favorites, especially with brown eyes, hazel eyes. This is a good brush. So you can take a brush and you can put this color on, okay? And you can easily put this on your arm. All right, look at that. It's a really pretty purple color, but I mean, you know, it's light, but then you can take setting spray and you could spray your brush, okay? You can get this wet, pick it up, okay? And look what it does. And it can be blended. Look at that. It's It just can make any color beautifully pigmented. So if you're looking, and if you have a color you like and you say, gosh, I just wish it was a little bit deeper, like coal, this color, if you could wish it was a little bit deeper, Take your brush, spray it with setting spray, and apply your eyeshadow. And you have a deeper version of the color you already like. You don't have to go buy another one. Well, I'm gonna figure this one out. I'm gonna spray <laughs> brush cleanser on my arm. Well, hot diggity. I just did the trick. All right, that's it. That's the eye look. It's pretty, it's neutral, it's every day. That's all. Have a great day.